Hi guys, it's Miss Shopslot and I'm back with another haul. Uh, this is a mix of a little bit of everything, uh, garage sale, thrift, and one purchase that was purchased online. And I think I got some good deals, um, always some random, um, but I will get started. Uh, super random stuff. First thing I got, oh, this wasn't, so I already had. <clears throat> the first thing I got were these sunglasses for 99 cents. They are Oscar de la Renta. I just thought they were cute for a buck. I don't know if I'll keep these or take them to the consignment store. Uh, this, here we'll do. Oh, another pair of sunglasses. These were a dollar. These are Ralph Lauren. These are really cute. These were a dollar as well. Or, yeah, as well. But those were from a garage sale. Um, I mean, just such random stuff. This Animal Crossing game, $3. I looked it up. I don't remember exactly how much it sells, sells for. Um, but I bought this to resell. I actually picked up a really rare PS1 game that's worth like $200 and I'm so afraid to sell it. Like, I'm, it's actually between two and 300 and I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm never afraid to sell anything else, but video games makes me nervous. <clears throat> I just don't want to get scammed. Okay, moving on. Um, I got... Oh, that, this is not a David's Tea mug. This was $2.99 and it is filled with... There's this guy and this guy. Looks like a water globe. And then four scented things. We got pecan, pumpkin pecan waffles, leaves, which is my favorite scent, leaves, and pumpkin cupcake. So perfect for fall that is coming in T minus, what's today? A couple of days, week, whatever it is, two weeks. Um, okay, like I said, very random stuff here, look guys. This I picked up for resale. These were $3.98, and this is a vintage set of Mickey and Minnie key rings. They are in these sailor suits. Um, I've done well with vintage uh, Disney. It all depends. Some sells, some don't. It depends on what you pay for them and, you know, the return. These, these are from Disney Parks. It doesn't say, I'm going to see if it says the date, but I don't see one. But I can tell that they're older um, by the tags and stuff. So I picked those up for free to resell. This I have sold before. So I picked it up again, Brazilian Body Wrap Spa Mud Home Treatment. I paid $1.98. Uh, you have to watch for expiration dates, but some people do not care because um, some things, it's more of a sell-by date opposed to some things, you know, have chemicals that will change after a certain time. Some people care, some people don't. So you kind of got to watch out for that. I picked up this Apricots and Cream. This was 99 cents. It is a body shower gel bubble bath and it smells amazing. Brand new. I love philosophy stuff and I get it so cheap usually. Random. <laughs> I have a little bit of an oddity, oddities collection. Uh, so I picked this guy up. Got a little bit of a, oh, there we go. He's spring loaded, so cha cha cha. I thought he was really neat. I don't know if his his cranium does not open. It just shows all the. He was seven. He's heavy. I pray to God this isn't real. I'm pretty sure it is just a prep, you know, like a fake, like for uh, school or such or whatever. So I picked him up. This is Frank, and he will go with. The rest of my oddities, which did, oh, I didn't show you the one. All right, I'll put that in the next video. I love it. <laughs> um, oh, speaking of oddities, I picked this guy up from my little oddity collection as well. Little scorpion and uh, 
resin or lucite i can't tell i thought he was cool i was considering making him a bracelet but i don't think a bracelet would work or maybe a necklace i think this is like super 70s to me um so yeah i haven't figured out what exactly i'm gonna do with him he might just go in my collection and sit there and look cool uh all right Moving on with the random, I did pick up these two planners. This one was a dollar fifty, and this one was a dollar forty nine. And I have noticed the more I keep a planner, the better organized I am. If not, I am a scatterbrain. And I'm like, I know I had plans for Wednesday, and I know I had plans for Thursday. What am I supposed to do? So I've been trying to keep track a lot better. Uh, my memory is not very good. So this I paid $5.49 for. It is a day agenda. I'm not keeping this one. I will be reselling. That is Franklin Covey. I sell these pretty regularly um, because people are also like me and need to write stuff down. <laughs> so I picked that up to resell. Uh, okay. Got a random. These gloves. I picked up, I do already own these, um, but then I realized that these are a size small, I believe. Let me see. Because I was like, why can't I fit my fat little fingers in there? Mine's a medium, and I believe this one is a, yeah, these are a small. So I picked these up at a garage sale for $2. They're in excellent condition. They're the leather, leather Michael Kors quilted with the locks. Um, so I will be reselling these perfect time winter's coming so those were a two dollar investment and i think that's it for super random now we'll do these are narcisco narciss narc narciso narciso <laughs> rodriguez for her perfumes these were a dollar 98 and they smell really good Probably going to keep those because they're only half full anyway. Uh, this I picked up for a dollar. Somebody, it says, it looks like it was made by an artist. It says Le Fleur de Lis 2014 Tay Fork Master. The Fork Mas Meister. C-L-Y-O-2-K-C. New Orleans. Earth. It says a lot of stuff in there. I don't know if you can see or not. So I just thought that was really... Oh, so Fleur de Lis this way or the other way? I thought it was really cool. I'm going to do some research and see if the seller is anyone. Or the artist. Because there's so much writing on here. Clyde, may the fork be with you. <laughs> uh, but I thought it was really neat for a buck. Next, I picked these two up at a garage sale for six total. They're these. This one is, I believe, marked 925, but the other one is not, and I don't believe it's real. Um, let me double check. Yeah, this one is 925, and it is Car Carolyn Pollock. So I love this. I picked this up for myself. And this one I believe is not real. It is not marked. And it looks like it is tarnishing. Not tarnishing, but like losing color. So I'll probably just toss this or toss it in a um a lot of fixable like craft jewelry. So whatever. This was completely worth the six dollars. Next, I picked up these earrings for myself. They were $3.50 with half off. I thought they were just cute little fun earrings. So I picked those up for me. This ring I paid $0.99 cents for. And it is sterling silver with a moon and star in onyx. I will probably resell this. I'll clean it up and resell it. It is marked 925, somewhere in here. It's pretty dirty inside and definitely needs to be cleaned. So 
I pick that up. This was in a lot of jewelry that I had done before. Um, it was like a mystery bag. I haven't bought any in a while because I don't really see them. I do have two or three that I have saved aside to do an opening video. Um, but other than that, I don't really see them. So I haven't bought any. And I, I never opened them on camera just because, I don't know. I, I know some people take this jewelry jar opening very serious. And they're very serious about the jewelry. <laughs> I don't like a lot of stuff. So I don't want to offend somebody if I'm not like ooing and aahing over something I'm not interested in. So I don't know. I'll do one and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but this is from one. Um, I had paid 29 or 25 for it. And this is what I got out of it that was good. The rest was all like junk. Uh, this 925 ring. This will probably get scrapped because it has a little crack in it. This pair of earrings. Um, they are broken, but I'm going to take it to the jeweler to have them fixed. These are 925. I don't know. They're very cool. They're very Southwest, which I'm really into right now. Uh, this is just a sterling silver chain, which is broken, so I will probably scrap that. I just scrapped a bunch of jewelry yesterday, and I got like 300 bucks, so I was super happy. Um, this is sterling silver, too. I don't know if I'll sell this or scrap it. I'm not sure. I did get this teeny tiny little ring. I don't know if it's 10 or 14 karat. I can't read it. Uh, it's got an A, which is my daughter's initial, but this wouldn't even fit. This is a baby ring. This is an itty bitty baby ring. So I'll probably scrap that. This, I don't know what it is. I think it's just nothing, but I thought it was neat. So I kept that. These earrings are either 10 or 14. I couldn't read it. So these will be scrapped because they're already broken anyway. Uh, this is... I don't know what this is. An earring. Which was 10 or 14. Oh, this is the other earring. And this says... CC. I don't know if this is gold filled or what this is. So I'll take these to my jeweler, have them look at it, and then it gives me a price. So I'll definitely make my money back, and then I will keep these earrings. I think they're so pretty. I'll have him fix it. Okay, then we bought this. This was $6.98, and it is this odd-shaped pin, or it could be a pendant. So it must go like that. And this is Mexico 925. Very, very odd, but I like it. So I picked that up. This I picked up for 10. I thought it was pretty. This is sterling. If nothing else, I like the chain that it's on I may sell or scrap the probably sell because it's in really good condition so ooh, it is warm in here with these lights on let me tell you -hoo -hoo. okay next uh I picked these up to resell I was ki considering keeping but I will probably resell them they were $9.99 they are I got stickers all over them Vionic and they're brand new. These are super comfortable. Um, I own a couple of pairs that I kept for myself, but they sell very well. Um, between 30 and 50, depending on the style and how sought after it is. I picked these up and I don't know if I'm gonna keep these or sell these. These were five, they're brand new. They are by Spring Step, the Artiste. And they're these. I thought they were so cool. They almost look like a cowboy boot, but they're a shoe, but they're a... I don't know. I liked them. Tell me what you think. That, all right. 
been into purses and that now. So we'll do this guy. Found this at a garage sale for 50 cents. I love it. It is a football cooler. And I was, I was like, this would be great for when you're at the tailgates and you're walking around. Take a couple beers for the walk. I don't know how your tailgates are, but in Buffalo, we, uh, we do it up. <laughs> We have a crazy, crazy fan base. So walking the parking lot and partying with other people is not, is the norm. <laughs> Everybody is so friendly and it's so much fun. But we, we go all out for our uh, tailgating. I'm sure a lot of teams do, but I don't know if they do it quite like Buffalo does. <laughs> okay, now wallets. First one was this fossil. It was $2.00. It's like brand new, super cute. Has these polka dots. It's a wristlet. Like really, really good condition. Not my style. I will be reselling these. Uh, I I said it before. Do you guys want me to do a how to sell on Mercari video? Um, I was contacted by a company who wants me to do a collab with them, and I'm really excited about it because. It's something that if you're trying to resell or you already do resell is a major, major asset to it. So I'm going to do the trial and then do the videos and you'll see how I score it. Okay, gosh, I'm talking so fast. So I'm super excited right now because as soon as I'm done with this video, I am taking my dog to, we have a place here called Barkology. And it's a dog bar, <laughs> dog park slash bar. And it's Little Dog Wednesdays. And they have like beer and snacks and you get to sit and have a beer and watch your puppy play. It's freaking awesome. So Pops A Lot is coming here and we are taking Miss Coco to the dog park. All right. So I got this Kate Spade wallet. It was a dollar. It just has this residue from the sticker, which should clean up really good. I thought this was super cute. Has a little bit of wear, but nothing major. And this as well will be for sale. My Mercari link is below if you're interested in anything. This stuff will probably be on there within the next week. Um, sometimes around before I do the video, sometimes after. So that's, that's that. Okay, then this I picked up on eBay. I got a really good deal. Um, I paid $100 which is really, really good for this. And it is, I can't remember the girl's name. Bo something, but not Dawson. Bo, I think it's Bo. Hold on, let me see. Because her thing, yeah, it's Bo something. I think she's a YouTube star or a TikTok star or something. Anyways, it was her auction. And for $100, I got this big zip wallet that I already, I don't know if this is the same size as the one I have or a smaller size. So it does have an issue right here that was fixed. Um, a little issue right there, but that's super easy to fix. I mean, there's really nothing wrong with it cosmetically. The outside is great. It is authentic. Um, so for $100, I got this and this, which is a card holder. And I will probably definitely be selling this because I don't have this color bag. Um, I have blue, uh, but it is, this one's like brand new. It looks like she just bought it and never used it. There's absolutely no wear on this. So this one will probably be for sale and you can take this off. So these, I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. Um, Cause I, I do have one, but I'd like to keep a spare. But like I said, this is the only, and somebody fixed it. So for a hundred bucks, this is a really good deal because those sell, those are pretty expensive. I think on the website, they're, oh, I can't remember. I want to say like eight, nine hundred. So I was super excited about that. Next, I picked this up and this one I had to do some research on because I was stumped. This is Gucci, vintage Gucci. It's in excellent condition, probably sat in someone's closet. For many many years um 
it doesn't appear to have wear other than like the leather just from sitting but I mean there's no real wear on this so when I opened it up it's got your slot slot for cards or money or whatever it was twelve dollars and ninety six cents but this threw me so it says made in Mexico by Gucci I had never heard of Gucci being made in Mexico an hour Google search later and it was <laughs> It was licensed to Mexico. I can't remember. It was like 70s, 80s. And this is 100% authentic. Gucci made in Mexico. My first and only. <laughs> uh, so that was an exciting, exciting find, especially for $13. I was super excited about that. I will be keeping this because I only have, I think, like two Gucci um wristlet or not wristlets but you know I could actually make this into a wristlet if I wanted to but I kind of like it as the clutch okay next we got this this is a Michael Kors hot pink um crossbody it has the that in the middle this is in really really good condition too and this was I think she charged me $1.98 for it. Excellent condition. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was $4.99. Buy one, get one. And I got another purse from there as well. I just don't know where it is. <laughs> It'll end up in another haul. This was shocking. These two bags I bought on the same day. And I was super excited about them. They were from a thrift store I normally don't go to, a Salvation Army I normally don't go to. It was far, farther away. And it is this Diane von Furstenberg. Whoop. With this cute little mirror. This really heavy gold chain. This pocket here. It has a little bit of wear, like right there. Nothing major. It's really nice. The inside... It is authentic. Five freaking dollars. Five dollars. And it was like this. So you couldn't even see the DV off. But I felt it. And I knew. Oh, and this is a pocket too. I knew it was a quality bag. So I snagged that. And I probably will keep that one. Probably. Not definitely, but probably. <laughs> and sitting right next to it was this guy brand spanking new this was not used there's no wear on her at all and there's this purple blue long shop $4.99 it is authentic it is leather it has the YKK zipper pocket where's the thingy So it is authentic and a steal of a deal for $5. Now, last but not least is my most exciting finds of this trip. I was at a garage sale <coughs> and I was, you know, looking around and there was a shoe box full of kids jewelry, like, you know, little junky Claire stuff. Everything was tangled and just thrown in there. And amongst the junk, I found two treasures. They were 50 cents a piece. And the first one is this. Well, let me double check which one this is. This is 10 carat with the 10 carat gold necklace and the diamond heart pendant. It is marked. Oh, wait, that's not the back. That's the back. Oh, wait, my camera sucks. It's marked 10 carat. Um, and I did test the diamond, and it is authentic. Or authentic. <laughs> it is a real diamond. So for 50 cents, I got this white gold, gorgeous diamond pendant. Now, for the really good one, this was also connected to it. And this is was also 50 cents. Hold on, I'm trying to get you uh get something black to put it on so you can get the full effect of it. 
The first thing I saw was this, which says 14K. And the next thing I saw was this that says, what does it say? Ever Us. And this is a 14 karat gold diamond pendant. I took this in, it's from Zales, I believe. I took it in to the store and this one retailed for $2,000. There's some pretty big diamonds. So this was freaking amazing for this diamond necklace. So for a dollar, 50 cents, I got a $2,000 necklace and this other gorgeous necklace. So that was quite a deal for me. And I, I was, I was pumped for days on that one. <laughs> so I hope you guys liked my haul. Um, I hope I didn't ramble too much. I hope you got a mix of random and good. And if you like this video, please thumbs up so that I know to keep making these. As always, comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time.